Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to try and post onto YouTube as much as I can uh, to keep you busy with all the content that I can create at the moment. And uh, Instagram, I do try and post on there. So if you want to find me on Instagram, head over to Makers World. Uh, I'll leave a link somewhere. But I guess you clicked on this because of the title, which will say something that I don't know yet because I don't know what I'm making yet. It's going to be something to do with resin, which you will already know. And it's going to have something mixed into it, which you'll also already know. But I, I just don't know because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, yeah, so I've got a couple of items here. I've got a big tub. But I then have a bag filled with corks, wine corks. I've then got these sea pod type things. I'm not entirely sure as to what they're called. I may post a, a name here of what they are once I've gone back and had a look online because um, I did have the name for them. Uh, these have sat, actually these sat unknown to me in a box in the corner of my workshop that I didn't even know I'd ordered them. I've got these, acorns. No, not acorns, pine cones. Yeah, pine cones. Um, once again, I'm totally unsure as of right now what this video is going to be. Yeah, so we'll get cracking, see what we can come up with and... Uh, Hopefully it's something that I'm happy with. This is the finished project from the resin pour. I'm going to uh, cut this side off because obviously we don't want these at the top. And I'm going to, uh, I don't know whether to trim the feet off on the bandsaw or to put it on the lathe and do something with them there. So yeah, I'm going to take it to the bandsaw at least, cut this off and then we'll go from there. Oh, well that looks good. I'm going to keep that. I'm not too sure what we'll do with it, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. So I'm just going to use this Stanley blade to cut this bottle off. Whee! It's only aged five years. Right. So that is it without the plastic on. That looks really, really nice. That's lovely on top. Right, so that's us all now set up on the lathe. Let's get cracking. Alright, so what you couldn't see me doing was putting a mortise into this side so that then I can attach it onto the chuck jaws. Okay, so it's now flipped over. I think I'm going to keep the feet, maybe do some carving into them, work something out. Because I quite like them, it adds a feature to them. So I'm going to keep the feet, I think. It's looking like it's going to be a vase. This is just amazing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm astounded at how this has come out. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm now going to start drilling the hole for this side 
and start turning the top part of what's going to be the vase. So I'm going to get this drilled out now. That was terrifying. I thought, no way, this is gonna blow out. So again, get a bit of zoom going for you. That's what happens when you get a catch and it just comes flying off the lathe so luckily the mortise is still fine and I'm going to be able to put it back on the lathe. Yeah so that's the, the feet are now not going to be an option really. If that wasn't as bad as what it is we could have possibly have reshaped it slightly and it might have worked. So I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and I'm going to cut the feet off and then from there we can just reshape this and it will become a nice little vase. Obviously I could have just cut that completely out and changed the video. But, you know, I want you to see what can go wrong. And uh, I want you to see that, you know, even when things do go wrong, you, you can just change it. It doesn't matter. It's, it's all about your imagination and what you're going to use. So I think that's looking pretty good so far. So let's carry on and see what happens. All right, so that's the feet now cut off. Still quite like the shape, so that's quite nice. Might even keep these little bits. Let's just see what happens. For all we know, they're going to cause it to come flying off again. Hopefully not, we don't want that, but, you know, it's all the excitement, you never know what's going to happen. So I do have the tailstock fed inside of this, and um, that is just to give this some added support whilst I turn it. So let's crack on. So, another change of plan, I'm going to turn this down and make this into a tenon and then close the jaws on the tenon instead as obviously what we've been doing just hasn't been working, it's just, this isn't strong enough, it's just going to have to be a bit of a design change, I already know exactly how I'm going to turn this into it, so yeah, let's get cracked on and see how we go. So I want to put this inside of the jaws and use it as a tenon rather than a mortise and hopefully that is going to do the job. If not, then plan D, plan, plan D, plan C, I don't even know what plan we're on now, but whatever, the, whatever it is, we'll work something else out.
Right, so it's now at a point that I'm happy to sand it, so let's get cracking and get this finished. Let's start off by giving it a couple of coats of sanding sealer. First, I'm going to sand it down to 240 grit. So I want you to see it as I apply some sanding sealer to it and it just really makes the colours pop. So I'm going to apply some cellulose sanding sealer from Chestnut. So I'm just going to run the lathe for a little while, let that soak in. So I'm now going to whack on some chestnut cut and polish. If you've watched the previous videos you'll know that this is a wax polish that has an abrasive in it. It's been there for a few minutes, now I'm gonna rub the abrasive in and sand it down. Now check that out. Oof. Let's get it in that lighting. That has come out amazing. Amazing. That is what it is. Got the inside all turned out. Outside's looking nice and pretty. Bottom's nice and flat now. We've took the tenon off. So I learnt that the corks in the resin, fantastic idea for the for the looks of it, you know, I think that looks amazing, it stands out, it's something completely different. Not that structurally stable. So when it was the mortise and the chuck jaws was acting as the tenon and they was opening out and holding it, it worked for a little while and then, as you saw earlier on, it come flying off the lathe when I got a catch. And I think that, that broke a part of it or it put a crack in it, I couldn't really see anything, which is why it went back on the lathe and I carried on. Problem is, is obviously it had caused some form of damage. Now I hope you're enjoying the YouTube channel so far. Obviously there is now six videos up as of when this one is going to be loaded up. I will get it edited and posted as soon as I can. The next project I think is going to be something on the CNC. So this was a prototype of something I've made um, previously. And I think I'm going to use that to make a couple holders for the camera. So anyway, we'll see what's going on. Um, I do have a resin project that's ready to go. I have that which needs designing but won't take long and will be ready to go. So, you know, we've got a couple more pieces to add in. We've got some more content to add and hopefully you're going to keep us all busy. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell. You know, you, you want to be notified when I make a new video when you get to see things like this. You know, that is absolutely stunning. If anyone does have an idea, this is the other blank. I want show you too much of it I'll try and keep it moving so it doesn't focus um, if anyone has any idea of what it could be turned into or would like to see it turned into then you know feel free to give me a shout and we'll see if we can do that so you know hope you enjoy the rest of your day or your evening or whatever time it is wherever you are in the world and have a good night thank you